okay so now we have I have a problem here so when I shoot I can see my uh, bullet trails like uh, line like that but uh, when the enemy shoot me it's not very clear uh, let's uh, let's have only one enemy so it's easier to deal with so see I don't see much of a bullet trail so to fix that this is the gun blueprint in the BP guns and here I have this bullet trail Niagara system so actually there is another parameter that I can add into this system under ribbon we can add ribbon width but uh, actually the width is not the problem here the problem is this lifetime so if I make this like instead of 0 0.02 if I give this ribbon like a 0.1 light lifetime then you can see the trail is more visible like that but still that doesn't look very good okay so now we can see that from uh, the character a little bit better but it's still not enough okay so how to fix that let's give a little bit of a randomization here so we can have some variation okay but still this is uh, not good enough the reason is here I activate the bullet trail and I keep it like only 0.2 seconds maybe this is the reason so so yeah here I move the trail from the nozzle point to the hit point with the point in within 0.2 seconds and then deactivate it so anyway the lifetime the maximum lifetime is say 0.2 seconds so therefore this is not an issue what happens if I don't deactivate it nothing and also the bullet delay is 0.1 seconds so that means this part is going to be looped in each 0.1 second so blood trail also going to be like that all right so maybe let's connect this again let's add a do once not here now uh yeah let's collapse this part first Let's call it bullet trail. Two ones, no, two ones like this and then let's uh, reset this only after completing one cycle ok 
Okay, now let's see how it looks. And when it when I shoot at closer range, it looks a little bit weird because of the point two is too slow. But now the bullet lines, the trail is much visible for enemies. Okay. So what else we can do? Now we can work on this over this time. This is the target. So we can get the distance from this one to the target and then so let's say if this is like uh, thousand units it should be go in point one seconds so the ratio is this one divides by 10,000 and that's the time alright now it shouldn't look weird when I shoot at closer range actually I don't even see the line but that's okay I only see a line when I shoot at longer range oh why am I not seeing the ray I don't see that anymore. What's the problem? Let me try again. It's visible this time and visible again. Now it's not. Alright, let's try debugging it. For some reason this 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 the the ones node may be not reset. This is not it. Con 124. It also seems not like it. Ah, that's it. Yeah, it's not been reset. And I'm not sure why. What could cause this to not to reset? Ah, right, right. So when I let's clamp this value. Between point zero five and Point two seconds. I think it again, it's not working.
yeah how does that happen I think that happens when I if I try to show the sky let's see yeah after shooting the sky this reset never happens oh sorry I didn't connect this now it should work I think yeah it is working now what's that let's see how this enemy behaves okay now the ray is visible okay I think we can stop this episode at this point so if you like to support my work or if you like to uh, get the project files of this project I am working on uh, you can get the membership of my patron club uh, the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching so this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me